Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by Linestar, your top five NFL player prop bets for week six in the NFL. We're looking at Sunday slate alongside my co-host Tyler Beeman. I am Shannon Somerville. And Tyler, we have cooked up some nice props for everybody on this Sunday weekend, week six, can't believe the season is flying by. And look at us, decked out in our black for spooky season. <laughs> it's Friday the 13th this week, which I think is crazy. It is. And it's October. Tyler, what are you going to be for Halloween? Have you decided yet? Uh, you know, I think I might be a daddy pig from Peppa Pig. So. <laughs> nice, nice. There you go. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to be a disgruntled Jets fan like I already am every other day of the year, so... There's that. If any, you have any other suggestions, yeah. I You're know. not even going to be anything. Boo, boo. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about Come it. On. Suggest List your suggestions in the comments. All right. So we've got oh, some good boy. props for you, you guys. You just opened a can there. I definitely did there. <laughs> Keep it clean, everybody. Keep it clean. <laughs> All right, so our picks are available on Underdog Fantasy, on Prize Picks, uh, or your regular sports books. They're also available on Chalkboard and Sleeper apps. If you don't have those apps, when you download them, use the promo code LINESTAR and you'll get up to $100 if your first deposit matched. And I believe it's still going on right now on Underdog Fantasy where you're getting a $500 deposit match. Also, speaking of Underdog Fantasy, we have a show specifically for Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em contest. So make sure to check out that video after that one. They're all different picks. So we tried to make sure that we had all different picks for you guys so if you watch that video you it's all new content for you guys we're just cranking out the content here on the line star youtube channel so you know what do us a huge favor like this video if you are enjoying our content make sure to subscribe like this video comment below a comment also enters you into our contest because we like to win money we also like to give out money as well and we like to fire off the money gun whenever possible so if we go four of five on our picks this week one randomly selected commenter will win $100. If we go five for five, like I'm trying to manifest this week, I love our picks this week, then one randomly selected commenter will win $200. And most importantly, <laughs> both Tyler and I get up, get to set off the money gun because apparently he also yeah. has a money gun now that has yet to be fired off. Is that correct? We haven't fired off Tyler's new money gun yet? That is true. Okay, we got to break it in. Let's go. <laughs> We've got some great picks for you guys. So let's start things off with Jags wide receiver Calvin Ridley over 59 and a half receiving yards. Ridley's averaging 66.6 .6 receiving yards per game. He's only been over that 59 and a half line in two of five, but he had 122, which was a season high against the Bills last week in London. This week, he gets an Indianapolis Colts team that he put up over 100 back in week one. And Indianapolis, they haven't gotten any better since that time frame. They're 22nd in pass defense DVOA up against opposing wide receiver ones. Last week, we took DeAndre Hopkins, the over on his receiving yards, and he put up 140. We had Puka Nakua put up 163 against the Colts, and Nico Collins had 146 against the Colts. Tyler, I love this spot for Ridley. And it seems like he's just establishing some really great chemistry with Trevor Lawrence. The two of them are such a dynamic duo. We saw it in action against that really good Bills defense last week in London. What do you th think about Ridley this season and in this spot for our prop? Yeah, I think he's in a really good spot here. We attacked the same matchup last week with D Hop, and we're going back at a fairly similar line as to what we got D Hop at in. You know, I really like it. Once again, it looks like Zay Jones is probably going to miss. He missed practice today. So that's just, you know, shortening that uh, all the branches on that target tree for the Jaguars. So I like Ridley to go over once again. Mm -hmm. And I also don't hate Christian Kirk uh, over as well for no. him. I think both of them are mm -hmm. in a great spot for some good games, both um, in terms of the receiving yards line. And uh, if you got him on fantasy, I think they're going to have a nice game for you. All right, let's go to the team that lost to the Jags last week. That's the Bills. But you know who had a pretty good game in that outing was Stephon Diggs. And he's in an excellent position going into week six here. We're taking Stephon Diggs over 82 and a half receiving yards. Diggs is averaging 104 receiving yards per game this season. That's sixth in the NFL. He's gone over 100 yards in four of five games this season. Now he's going up against a New York Giants team that ranks 29th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing teams wide receiver one. 
And Tyler, I came across a really interesting stat here that sold me on this prop. The Giants have played man coverage at a top five rate. You know who dominates man coverage? Your boy, Stefan Diggs, third in mm-hmm. fantasy points per route run versus man coverage. Love Stefan Diggs and his spot here today. You know, I know he hasn't had a great week, though. Apparently, he got his car stolen. But you know what? I think he's going to be playing big mad in this game, and he's going to put up some numbers for us. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I like this spot. You know who else also really beats up man, man coverage? Tyreek Hill, who went off for mm-hmm. 181 yards against them last week. So I like this spot. A lot of very good receivers go way over on the Giants, and I think Diggs likely does that again uh, this week. All right. Hopefully he gets a new car for himself, too, so we can get to the stadium. Just kidding. All right, let's move on. I think he'll figure that out. (laughs) He'll manage? Okay. You can always just get an Uber, right? Like, okay. I'm going to move on and stop making corny jokes. All right. We're going to keep it with the wide receivers trend, though, and we're going Vikings wide receiver K.J. Osborne over 40 and a half receiving yards. Now, Osborne's only averaging 33 receiving yards per game, but he did have 49 against the Kansas City Chiefs last week. And we're also without Justin Jefferson in this one. He, the wide receiver one for the Vikings, is out with a hamstring injury. So now you have some other guys stepping up to fill the void and going up against a Chicago defense that is terrible (laughs) against the passing game. They're 31st in pass defense DVOA. Tyler, last week against the Commanders, the Bears allowed four, count them, four pass catchers over that 40 and a half number. I like KJ Osborne in this spot, especially since his wide receiver coach has recently said like all off season, he wanted to make sure KJ Osborne was ready to fill the void. If Justin Jefferson went down, he put him in all the, these scenarios to fill that role. And they really worked on it in the off season. So now here's his moment. I think he's going to take advantage. What do you think? Yeah, I think he's going to take advantage as well. So we got that bad Bears D that we're going against. There is the lack of Justin Jefferson. So all those targets are up for grabs, and they are likely to be spread between Hawkinson and Addison and Osborne. But Osborne has six or more targets in three of the four games this year, and dating back to last year. So over the last year, Winnie has got six or more. He's been over in four of six games. So I really like his spot to go over against this bad Bears team and with more volume going his way. Yeah, absolutely. And if you watched our underdog fantasy pick em show, you know we do like the Vikings mm-hmm. wide receivers this week. That is a trend that we've been picking on. So in addition to KJ Osborne, we also are liking Jordan Addison's over there as well. So either way, mm-hmm. both of them great options this week in the prop game and in fantasy football. All right, now it is time, Tyler, for you and I to pick our favorite props of the week. Where are you headed for your favorite prop pick? Uh, going back real quick, about the Addison and Osborne one. I think Mm -hmm. both of those props are able to go uh, where you could do a ladder on them. I I think there's a really good good chance that one of them goes really off. So getting back to my pick here. Yeah. Let's go. I think we're going Drake London over 44.5 yards. This line is just too low for him. And the reason it's low is that inconsistency we've seen at the quarterback. However, at home, Ritter is averaging 283 yards this season. Meanwhile, Washington allowing 238 yards a game to the wide receiver. London's been over in 7 of 10. A lot of wide receiver ones have gone off against Washington, including 230 yards the more last week, 175 to A.J. Brown, 111 to Diggs, and over the last year, 11 of six games or sorry wide receiver ones are 11 and six versus wow. uh this spread so i like uh london here i think he's going over all right yeah and i actually saw when i was doing my research into the man coverage zone coverage of the different teams i mm-hmm. saw that the commanders are above average in man coverage and drake london his targets actually double when they're going up against man coverage in this one. So in an excellent spot here. And in fact, he actually ranks 10th in fantasy points per route run versus man coverage. So I love that spot for him. It was amazing to see DJ Moore go absolutely bananas against this defense. I definitely think Drake London can get there as well. So that's a great pick. 
For mine, I'm going to a Georgia Bulldog. I'm going to Matthew Stafford, over 271 and a half passing yards. Stafford is averaging 290 passing yards per game this season. He's been over in three of five, and now he gets to go up against an Arizona Cardinals defense that ranks 30th in pass defense DVOA. They give up an average of about 274 passing yards per game to quarterbacks. This is a very high game total. It's at 49. That's the second highest of the week. I expect a lot of points to be scored, and I think Matt Stafford with his dynamic weapons that he has in the rookie Puka Nakua, along with Cooper Cup, who's back and healthy in this one. I just think he's going to hit probably close to 300, although I probably don't think there's as much edge as you – it's starting to get a little bit higher on the various apps and stuff. I've seen it around 280 in some places. I probably wouldn't take it that high, but I still like this. If it's under 280, you can get it. Go ahead, lock that one in. Matthew Stafford, over 271 and a half passing yards in this one. I mean, this is a guy who has next level accuracy in those weapons that he has against this very weak Cardinals secondary. I just like the spot here for for our boy Matty Stafford and the Rams in general. I think they're in a pretty good position. Are they a team worth considering when you're doing daily fantasy, Tyler? Oh, absolutely. They have so many weapons now to spread that ball around. If you like Stafford, you know, you've got to like his weapons. Yeah. Speaking of daily fantasy, make sure to check out Tyler's show that'll be coming out on the Line Star YouTube channel. Tyler's going to break down DFS for everybody that's playing. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Line Star app. LineStarapp.com is where we have all of the analytics, statistics you need to dominate not only in DFS, but in props as well. We have a specific tool called the Props AI tool that is geared towards helping you find the best value in the prop market, whether you're playing in the sports books, underdog fantasy, prize picks, whatever. It'll help you find the best value. So make sure to check that out at linestarapp.com. And if you just want to see what it's all about, we have some videos on our YouTube channel about Props AI, how to use it, how we use it for our show. So make sure to check that out, linestarapp.com. And make sure if you haven't already, one more reminder, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment below. If we hit four or five, one randomly selected commenter wins $100. Five for five, we'll double it. We're going $200 for a winner if we go five for five. It's coming. I think the five for five is coming. I can feel it. I can feel it, Tyler, manifesting it. We're gonna I mean, this. we did it a couple weeks ago. Why not do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Good luck, mm-hmm. everybody, in all of your prop betting endeavors. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments because a lot of times we do recognize these lines change, so we will tell you if we still endorse a prop at a certain line, or if you have any ones that you'd like to add to the list, make sure to drop them below. We're all in it together, right? Let's go beat the books here this weekend. Good luck. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys. Good luck this weekend.